Hi everyone, June 14th, Monday again. Uh, just a few words for me in Santiago. Um, I have a few uh, updates on the virus situation and then a few updates on the Camino related things that are starting to open up again and, and, and the numbers and everything. Just to sum things up, it's it looking like things are slowly getting better as it has been doing for the last few weeks, which is good. Um, pilgrims wise we have more pilgrims coming in now that we've had for a long long time and it's it's more of a steady steady stream uh, around easter we had maybe a few days with a lot of pilgrims and then it kind of dropped off again now it seems like it's steadily growing um, and it's going to be sustained it looks like it's not going to be um, it, it's not going to go down again i don't think so and of course that's because virus wise we're doing better as well uh, the other day I had a short little walk around town and I saw a group of uh, tourists or pilgrims maybe, I don't know, uh, that walking was walking with a, with a tour guide. And I haven't been seeing the tour guides, um, the uh, guides that show people around Santiago. I haven't seen them in a while, so it was fun to see them uh, back at work. Um, so uh, just another sign to see that things are moving in the right direction and we're coming back to... The way we were you know uh, vaccination wise this is from three four days ago you could see that in galicia we have uh, over 50 percent of the population now ha have gotten at least one shot of a vaccine in spain we're at 43.47 uh, full uh, people that have gotten two two shots or are fully vaccinated with uh, with either the jansen one shot or the uh, the two shot uh, vaccines are 32% in Galicia, 25% in uh, in Spain. And that of course helps a lot when we um, uh, talk about the reasons for why things are getting better. Um, this is just looking at Spain is the other uh, graph that I've been showing over the last few weeks. You could see the, uh, there's a little bit of a bump there at the end. I don't know if you could see it, but um, I'm not sure exactly what, what that happened. There's some reportedly new cases went up a little tiny bit the other day. Still the the accumulated 14-day um, number for the infections, new infections over 100,000 inhabitants over the last two weeks is 108. Uh, so, and it's been steadily growing down for, for a while now. And these are the numbers that I've been showing you for the last few weeks in the various regions. This is the new infection rate of 100, per 100,000 inhabitant over the last two weeks. Galicia is at 48, uh, which is good. Uh, Basque country, they were over, well, they were over 500 for a few weeks ago, but now it's, uh, last week they were 200 and something, now they're at 168, so they're dropping down. Madrid was also high for a while there like Basque country they were over 500 a month a month and some time ago they were 500 now they're uh, 129 so they are also moving in the right direction so so this is good to see um, that um, that things are going the right way just to see give you the, some ideas for numbers this is Galicia right now there are 1401 people infected with COVID in Galicia at least that are known right 51 in hospital, 18 in intensive care. Uh, so Galicia, what, 3.8 million people? So you could look at those numbers and see that we're, we're doing good. Uh, I'll leave the link to all of these things in the description on the YouTube video because uh, there's a lot more statistics here. You could see the, uh, the red one is people that have been cured the blue is the active cases. You know, we were over 20,000 active cases in Galicia, now we're 1,400. And the gray is people that have passed away. Uh, anyway, so that was the COVID situation. Things are better, and you could see it on the number of pilgrims coming in as well. The cathedral has started um, with, they're moved and they're doing more masses now. They're doing more masses for pilgrims, pilgrims mass. Um, starting today, June 14th, they're adding another Pilgrim's Mass at 9.30 in the morning. 
so this way they have now Pilgrim's Mass at the main altar in the cathedral every day at 9.30, 12, and 7.30 p.m. In addition to that, there's a Mass at 11 uh, in the Capilla de la Corticela. I think that's a little chapel in the Pilgrim's Office. So there's another one, because they've been doing that when the cathedral was closed down for renovation. They did the uh, Pilgrim's Mass at the little chapel in the Pilgrim's Office. And it seems like they're still doing that at 11. And then at 10.30, there's an English version of that Mass. Uh, in the... Uh, well, that's that, well, that's the Pilgrim's Office. So I'm not sure then when the... Where the uh, Capilla de la Corticela. I don't know. I'm not sure where that is. Maybe that's a, a, another place. Anyway... There's plenty of pilgrims masses now, and um, that's good. Another thing that came out this week is that the Junta are uh, now finally opening up the public albergues in Galicia. They have been shut down since we were shut down a long time ago, and they've been slow in opening up because they want to uh, try and help the private albergues and pensions, you know, hotels around in Galicia to get some traffic. So they didn't want to steal customers from from them so they've been slow to open up and the news now is that half of these public albergues were opening up june 15 with the which is tomorrow they haven't listed them all which are opening now and which are opening later but um the the story says that uh let's see uh there's five albergues on the Camino Frances opening on the 15th. Five on the Camino Inglés, four in the Finisterre Moschier route, four Camino del Norte, three Primitivo, and two on the Portuguese. And ten on the Via de la Plata. So, and, but the thing is, the rest, the rest of these albergues that are not opening now are opening on... Uh, July 1st so if it's not opening now tomorrow it's opening in two weeks July 1st and at July 1st all the public albergues in Galicia will open and that includes the new albergue in Vigo there's a new public albergue in Vigo that has been uh, opened to help people that are walking the Camino Portugues de la Costa they of course come through Vigo and they hadn't had they haven't had a public albergue there before so July 1st, that's going to open. That's good. Now, Pilgrim's Office, as I've seen, mentioned, it, we have more pilgrims lately. Uh, I've checked the Pilgrim's Office website a couple of times this week to see what the day, the number for the day, the previous day was. And it's been over 600. Uh, both times I've checked. Um, so today they are saying that 626 pilgrims arrived yesterday in Santiago. What they mean is 626 pilgrims got to Compostela yesterday. Um, there might be more pilgrims that have actually arrived because some don't get to Compostela. But uh, anyway, that's a very good number. It's, uh, it's, it means things are picking up and, uh, and that's good news. Now, I've gotten some emails and questions about what's going to happen this year to the, um, the fiesta. The, the apostle, you know, the, uh, the the day of Saint James, and it looks like uh, what they're going to do is they're going they're going to have some sort of um, celebrations this year. Of course, it's going to be socially distanced. It's going you have to reserve seats. So it's looking like they're doing uh, maximum four hundred on the Plaza de Quintana for concerts, and se and seven hundred. Uh, I guess it's going to be on Obradoiro because Obradoiro is bigger. So uh, it's going to be seated and it's going to be limited. I have to have to you have to get tickets. Uh, so you're going to be probably seating much like the way you see it done in this photo. But at least something's going on. Um, and uh, if you want to read the details, I'll, I'll link down below in the uh, in the video descriptions on YouTube. Um, hopefully, if you don't speak Spanish, you could get Google Translate to translate this over for you. And just at the end, before I finish, um, of course, now we have, uh, before the EU vaccination passport comes out, uh, there's all kinds of rules and, 
and regulations on what who can come in and who can travel and who cannot and everything. So I, I found a good article in English on the El País website that answers a few of these questions. Uh, so I link this below uh, and you could look through there. But in short, it seems like um, people from the EU could travel to Spain now without having um, to show anything else than a, than a vaccination, proof of vaccination. And um, it seems like this is going to be also this is also true for people coming from abroad. But this article explains everything. So anyway, that's kind of um, that's kind of what it's looking like from this end. Um, so as you can see, we're not done with the COVID yet, but it's uh, it's much much uh, less of an issue now than it has been. Uh, there was a survey out, I was on a paper a couple of weeks ago, saying the people in Galicia are, are more worried about unemployment than they are worried about COVID. So that says something about, because we were we were pretty bad for COVID-wise for a while there, but now the COVID situation is much better and people are getting vaccinated at an ex a very high speed, I think. Uh, so so it looks like it's something that we're going to put behind us soon. Um, so that's what it looks like on, on, on this end. Hopefully things are good where you are. Stay safe. Ciao.